Hey everyone, what's up it's Fungo and welcome back to the channel. Today I will be showing you how to add a donate GUI to your Roblox games so players can donate to you for your work. Let's get right into the video. So the first thing you're going to need to do is create the actual GUI. So you're going to go to your starter GUI, click the little plus icon to the right. You're going to insert a screen GUI. And then you're going to want to insert a frame into that screen GUI. And I'm going to drag it down here. You can size it however you want. You can also put it wherever you want. This is just going to be the button they click to donate. I'm going to put mine there. I'll set the background color to this nice blue. And I am going to remove the border pixel. Next thing I'm going to do is duplicate that frame and put it inside the first one. I will then change the index value which is down here to negative one. Put it in the same position. Change it to a slightly darker color than the first one. Or you know you're gonna want the second frame to be lighter then make your first frame slightly darker just like that and then just scale that frame down and we get this nice little shadowy look underneath our button I am going to center that on my screen um, where's the middle so I'll put that there then I'm going to make these both around with my roundify plugin. You can just find any UI design or roundify plugin to do this with. It's very simple. Or you can keep it as a um you can also just keep it how it is if you want to. It doesn't need to be round. I just prefer the way it looks. I think it looks cleaner and more simulatory and cartoony. But the UI design is completely up to you. It doesn't need to look how I'm making it. You can obviously design your UI to look however you want. The only thing that you will need is some sort of button. So in here, I'm going to insert a text button. However, you can use an image button if you want as well. It will work the exact same. I'm then going to size my button, change the background transparency to one change the font to source sans bold, text color to white, scale the text, and make it say donate. So once you have your button made, you are going to want to go and insert a local script into your button. So next you will need to open up Roblox um, in a web page. So you're going to want to go to the create tab of your Roblox website. Once you are here, you're going to want to find the place you are working on. So minus this place. You're going to click the gear icon to the right of the edit button and then click configure game. Once you have done that, you will be brought to this page where you will then click developer products. You're going to want to click create new at the top. I'm going to name the product donate 10 and then make the price on Robux 10 and then click create. You can obviously replace 10 with whatever you want the donation amount to be. Next, you're going to want to copy this ID next to your developer product. So highlight that and then plus control C or right click and copy. Now go back to your local script in Roblox Studio and type local donate product ID equals and then paste your ID. I'm going to go back above that and type local player equals game.players 
dot local player and local ms equals game colon get service marketplace service. So in your first line, you want to say local player equals game dot players dot local player to get the player. Local ms equals game colon get service marketplace service. That is going to get the marketplace service, which is used to prompt game pass purchases, get game pass asyncs, and prompt product purchases. Then you also need a variable with your developer product ID, which we just got off of the Roblox website here. So after that, you're going to want to go below this and type script dot parent dot mouse button one click colon connect function. So this is saying when you click the mouse button, connect run the code that is in this block. So we're going to say ms colon prompt product purchase player donate product ID. So this is saying when you click the button, prompt a product purchase to the local player with the ID that we gave in the variable. So now if we click play, when we click the donate button it should prompt us to make a test purchase for 10 Robux. So as you can see, we are now in the game, and when we click Donate, it'll prompt us to buy the product and donate 10 for 10 Robux. Obviously you will not get anything in game when you donate as it is just a donation button, not an actual product purchase. However, it is still good to have in your game in case players would like to donate Robux. If you want to have multiple buttons which for players to donate different amounts, you can just change the text in the text button to say Donate 10. You want to copy your whole frame, duplicate that with Control D, and move it all down. And then say I wanted this one to be donate 50. You're going to want to go back to your web page, create a new product, call it donate 50, set the price in Robux to 50, copy your ID and then go paste it, the ID into the donate product ID variable in the script under the new frame. So if we test it again, now we'll have two donation buttons, one which allows us to donate 10 Robux and one which allows us to donate 50 Robux. So now that we have loaded into the game, we can test this. So same as before, if we click donate 10, it'll allow us to donate 10 Robux. But now we have a second button where if we click donate 50, it will allow us to donate 50 Robux instead. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment um, giving me any ways I can improve my videos, any other videos you want to see, or just any general comments you have. Also make sure to join the Discord server, the link to that will be in the description below, and I'll see you all in the next one.